Hello all. So I'm on this 2006 Kia Spectra and I made a video about how I had a spark problem and it wasn't getting no fire so it wasn't starting. And I had some questions about how I knew it was spark and not the gas. So I thought I'd go through the steps on uh, how I did it, how I found out it was the spark and uh, how to check that. So uh, I got the top of the engine off here or the top of the cover, just got four bolts on it. And uh, right here is the spark plug wires going to the coil pack. And the way you test for spark, which I'll show you, is uh, you take one of these out and you hold it real close to uh, like a bolt or something and see if a spark jumps. Now this isn't really super ideal. It's, it's more of a way to do it in like a rush or something like that. You can get a sh shock from it if you're not careful. If you touch it, that, this coil puts out a lot, of, uh, a lot of juice. So it's not ideal, but it can be done. A much more easier way is to use one of these spark testers. They're, uh, I think I got this for like six, seven bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link down below if you want to check it out. If you have one of these handy, then it's much more simpler. I'll show you how they work. This go, one side goes on the spark plug, other side goes into the wire, and this light will flash when, it, when the spark is going through. So I'll show you how that works. And uh, to test for the gas, uh, it's really simple actually. I, put, I took out the back seat just so that you can see this, but the fuel pump is right here. So when you turn it on, the key to the on position, you'll hear the fuel pump turn on. It's not 100% guarantee that it's putting out uh, gas, but it's more than likely it is. You could go to the spark. If you really wanted to test the fuel pressure, you'd have to get like a fuel pressure line tester and uh, see how what the pressure is for the fuel pump. But if it kicks on and you could hear it, then... It, it, that's usually an indication that it's working. I'll, I'll show you what I mean right now. Okay, so I'm inside the car. I might turn the key on. Do you hear that? You could hear it where it started pumping, like the pump was working. I'm going to do it and turn the key off again. See, you could hear that. I, I Hopefully you could hear that. I'll do it one more time. So basically, if you could hear that, then more than likely that fuel pump is working. It's not, like I said, it's not 100% guarantee, but you can say like 80% of the time it's going to be working, and you can move on to testing the spark next. If you test and it, and it is getting sparked, then you might want to come back to the fuel pump. But first step, see if you could hear it like that. I'll do it one more time. And if it's doing that, more than likely it's working. So we'll move on to the spark next. Okay, so if you're testing for spark, you pull out a spark plug and you'd have to use like a like a large uh, or, a, or a screwdriver, you stick it in here where it grounds out, where the same part where it sticks on the spark plug, and you'd have to hold that close to a grounded metal without touching it. If you touch it, you're gonna get a good shock. So it would basically be something like this and you would like hold it really close to metal and then you'd have somebody crank the engine and see if you see a spark jump between it. Now that's, this is not ideal. A lot of backyard mechanics do this. I, I have to admit I do it quite often myself, but it's not ideal. So I wouldn't suggest it unless you're really careful. If you can, then use one of these spark plug uh, testers. Uh, obviously you might not have one handy. If you do though, they're really cheap and nice to have. I'll put the links down below. They're, they're only like, uh, uh, five, seven bucks. We got to put one in to the spark plug like that. And then the other end just goes in the top here. Okay, so I got it set up. I'm going to go ahead and turn the car on. So as this starts, uh, you'll be seeing this light flash a whole lot. But I got this side fed in onto the top of the spark plug. It's going out to the spark plug wire. And this little light will flash as the spark comes through. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. As you can see, you can see that little light, so that's showing it is getting sparked. If you were holding this with the screwdriver in it, you would see the spark jumping to like a, some, some ground, like a grounded bolt or something like that. But as you can see, it is getting sparked. Obviously it is because it's running, but if you were testing it and cranking the engine over, you should be seeing a spark in there. It might not be going as fast, but if you see anything, it'll be sparked. 
Okay, so that's basically it. I just wanted to show you how I troubleshoot for if it's getting gas or spark, which as you know is the most important thing to see. If your engine's not starting, you gotta get, you're either getting gas or spark, then you can start following which one it is. If you're not getting spark, you can see I made another video on the steps you could go about troubleshooting that and uh, on this Kia vehicles. Uh, if you got if you're not getting fuel more than likely that fuel pump has gone bad But you know be sure to check your fuses and and uh, other follow all the the things for that, too But that's basically it. I just wanted to show you how I go about troubleshooting these cars for if it's getting gas or spark So I know which direction to go if you have any questions ask me uh, Below and I'll try to answer them. I'll also put all the links in the description and that's it